Okay, so we're on uh, lower road on one of our claims. This is the first time we've been able to get here because of rocks falling. And uh, we finally had them removed. You can see here you have a very oxidized outcrop. And you have uh, zeolite veins here running all throughout. And you have sulfide patches all throughout as well. You can see some right there. Uh, there was some malachite staining on this. We hammered a bunch of pieces off and the prospecting partner is hammering them open right now. See right here. So we're doing a sampling program on this and to date we've been here for uh, about eight days now. We're on sample number 53 that we've taken on multiple showings. We found three new ones. We've checked out the old mines. So decent mineralization in these two. So, and then you take a look over here, have a little bit of sulfide staining and oxide staining there from a small little vein along there. And over here you have another vein of sulfides, primarily iron pyrite and minor amounts of chalcopyrite. Can see just deteriorated sulfides. Have lots of sulfide staining, oxide staining. Nice little vein throughout here. And more zeolite veins. Zolite or zeolite. I always pronounce it wrong. So we're going to take a sample from here, uh, we're going to look at it for any grab samples along the road and then over here you have another exposure. Right along here you can see that little grayish patch there and there you have uh, big patches of sulfides again primarily iron pyrite and calcopyrite. So we're gonna sample all of these, see what we get. We'll show you any other samples we find. Uh, all of these patches right here, these are all patches of oxidization and we're eventually gonna check up top if we can make it up. It's a little steep. Um, another pointer is there's another logging road way up there um, about maybe five, six hundred feet, a couple hundred meters, and we found a nice red bed copper float boulder up there. So let's uh, dive into sampling and see what we get. So we're here at the sulfide vein. This is pure iron pyrite and calcopyrite. You can see pure metal. So we're taking our sample from here, just this deteriorated vein here. Nice looking vein. Okay, so now we're going to sample this exposure here. 
We're not expecting crazy results out of these ones. They do look like they're lower grade for copper, for sure. But there's lots and lots of sulfides here. So there could be something. See how deteriorated it is, though. It looks like there's some calcopyrite in there, decent amount. No malachite or azurite staining, which would give you your indication of a higher grade for copper. You can see, though. You can just grab a hunk of it. Maybe a little bit there. Any sulfides? So we'll pull a sample and uh, show you what we got. So we got that off. Okay, so we got our samples. Uh, we got three samples, one from the first showing, sulfide vein on here. Nothing pretty to look at, so we won't even bother showing those. We're gonna keep on going on this road and see if we can find anything else. Okay, so we're back uh, about a kilometer away from those last showings on the other side of where the mines are and this is the last thing we're sampling before we complete the sampling program nice coarse ore bin here we dug it out to check it out and found a couple samples in there so we just pulled them out uh, we're sampling this old mine dump here there's a bunch of open cuts up there and this is the mine dump for it lots of pyritic ore a little bit of copper uh, pyrites with um, malachite staining on them. Nothing too crazy. A lot of coarse grain pyrite. So we got some samples over here on the truck. I'll just go take a look at them quickly. Okay, so first sample here, just a solid hunk of pyrite. More here with a little bit of calcopyrite. These are very oxidized and deteriorated. A little bit coarser pyrite here. So nothing crazy in this mine dump yet. You got some calcopyrite right there. Let's see what else we can find. We're just digging out the mine dump a bit to get a bit better sample as you can see. Uh, you got more with malachite and azurite staining. Hammer a few of these open and just uh, take a look. We'll probably take a few of them and catalog some and maybe send one in for a, a test. So three more samples here from the dump. Again mainly just iron pyrite.
but we still want to see what's in the dump. So we're going to send in two samples from here. Almost looks like there's a little galena in there, but tough to say. So that's all the samples we're taking from here. And this completes our sampling program for the property. We've got 56 samples. And we're going to send in a whole bunch for testing. Not all of them, but we're going to send in probably half. We're going to dig out this uh, coarse ore bin eventually. Probably take it with us. It's pretty cool. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next video.